Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I did switch up the lighting, so if you guys don't mind letting me know down below whether you guys like it, love it, hate it, whatever it is, just let me know because I'm trying, I'm trying to get better at this, okay? So Alright guys, so I realized once I was editing the video that I did not show you guys the collab. So I am going to insert some pictures so you guys can see what the box came with. It did retail for $55 and of course I used the discount code because it was through the Morphe website. Now this box came with the 18T palette by Morphe, Ofra Cosmetics highlighter. It came with a lip liner by Morphe and a lipstick by Morphe as well and two brushes by Morphe and it also came with a beauty bakery lollipop liner but I wanted to show you guys what everything looked like in the picture before we actually got started I'm gonna start with my eyelid we're gonna do the eyeshadow palette this is the eyeshadow this is the 18T AT&T 18T it's a very pretty kind of natural looking palette as you guys can see it has a lot of warm tones a lot of natural looking colors it came with two brushes this is what the brushes look like so obviously you guys can tell i've already used some of this stuff we're just going to do a very natural look because honestly you can create kind of more of a smoky eye look with this palette but i'm not trying to do that right now i'm trying to keep it more of a natural looking glam something just you know cute and natural i have been following eva xo for i want to say at least like five to six years now i'm going to take this shade right here she is super relatable you guys like i can relate to her in so many different ways and we're just going to kind of go back and forth on our eyelid and we're gonna kind of just blend it and blend it today is the day that the Jaclyn Hill palette comes out did you guys get it or did you guys pass on it I think I'm gonna wait until it comes out at Ulta to get it I do love Jaclyn Hill and I do love Morphe but just I do want to test it out but I'm like right now we can wait then we're gonna go in with this shade right here and this brush is kind of different I don't usually use brushes like this it's more of like a pointy brush but we're just gonna go ooh, right on our crease um, I have been using it for the past few days and I have been liking it because it's very precise on where you apply it like since it is pointy it really gets right on the crease and it's easy to blend out but again we're gonna do a natural look i always say that and i always end up with like super dramatic eyes i'm trying to keep it natural today okay i don't know if you're supposed, supposed to put your contour on before, before the rest of your makeup or after, after the rest of your makeup. makeup this brush is very nice you guys if you haven't tried it i definitely think that this brush is a really good brush to kind of get into your crease like it specifically gets into this little crease when I say crease we're talking about this little area right here and it blends out it's very soft as well that it allows things to blend out I'm already getting kind of halo vibes but I just created a halo look yesterday for my Instagram so I can't do halo two days in a row my um swagger gets married tomorrow and I'm planning on filming kind of like a get ready with me for a wedding video. I'm in between two dresses right now. I like to wear black because my soul is black. Black makes my waist look snatched, you guys. Black makes me look delgadita con una cinturita de sirena. So one of the dress that I want to wear is more of like a flower dress. So it might be a little bit more appropriate for a wedding. But the other one is just like straight up black. And I'm okay with that. Let's see. What are we gonna do with all this eyeshadow? The next step is we're gonna grab some of this shade right here. And it's a very pretty kind of almost nude shimmer. And I'm gonna just pop some right under my eyebrow bone to highlight that area. We're gonna use this color right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Where is it? This one. This one right here. This is more of like a champagne color. 
yeah I'm not cutting the crease I'm not doing anything like that we're just directly putting on some shimmer eyeshadow you can cut the crease um, but I wasn't trying to get like a super crazy definition all I was trying to do was apply a little bit of shimmer so my husband's birthday is coming up pretty soon and I'm very excited because I got him a gift that he's been wanting so here's the thing I'm a stay-at-home mom, as a lot of you guys know already. I'm trying to make this be my job, but I'm not getting paid for it. I would love for this to be my career one day though. Anyways, I did work back in the day and I saved money. So anytime I buy him like presents, I use my money because it makes me feel better that I'm not using his money to buy his own present. Does that make sense? So now we're gonna go in with the eyeliner. You guys, this eyeliner is intense. So it is by the brand Beauty Baker Makeup. This is what the eyeliner looks like. It is a liquid eyeliner. To be honest with you guys, I tried it already. Like all these items, I already tried it, but I wanted to film a video for you guys and let you guys know my opinion and my review, okay? I tried it already and I was like, holy moly, like this eyeliner is intense so we're gonna create a wing eyeliner look really quick i'm gonna go underneath the camera really fast because i need to get close to the to my mirror all right so we just got some really thick eyeliner um that wasn't my plan but you know what happens sometimes you start a little bit and then you go bigger and then you go bigger 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 so we're just gonna roll with the punches but honestly this eyeliner is so good when i run out i will definitely be purchasing more i'm gonna pop on some eyelashes i was like i'm just gonna do a very natural look you lying son of a bitch i'm gonna be using some very dramatic eyelashes only because we feel a little dramatic today and my husband's about to come home and i'm gonna be like you know, you know, sometimes you just want to, you just want to start shit just because you want to start shit. Yeah, that's me. Oof. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about these wings, you guys. Everything just seems a little too. Ah. I just ordered more eyelashes by my favorite brand. I'm going to post their information right here so you guys can check them out on Instagram. Insta ho, yo a ho, your mama's a ho, your daddy a ho. But they definitely have like some really bomb eyelashes and they're super affordable. I think if I was to ever come out with my own makeup line, that is one of the things that I respect and admire so much of Morphe and BH Cosmetics as well. They are very big companies, but they're able to keep their products at a very affordable price for people. That is, like a must thing i'm gonna put my foundation on i'm gonna be using the anastasia foundation okay then i'm gonna go in with my milani concealer and we're gonna apply this all over our face so as long as you look like a newborn baby i'm gonna go ahead and set my face using the nyx hd setting powder i need to get more because i am like almost done with this one yes i'm excited to contour my face and practice i watched daisy marcus contour video yesterday and i think i just learned how to contour my nose and i'm very excited about that i do have a small nose but i still have a little bump right here i'm like let me contour that bitch this is what i'm excited for my nose contour you know what i should just use the little contour brush that i used to use but then i stopped using it because i started using it for other things but then i realized that i actually really need that brush Oh, you're not so una chica, mala. To contour, I'm gonna use this shade right here. And I'm gonna start kind of right here at the eyes. I'm just gonna place my little mark. Right there. And then you're gonna wanna go straight down, but curve it at the same time. Like, don't go straight down this way. Go straight down this way. Let's see. We're gonna see if it works. Cause I did it yesterday and I thought my nose looked snatched. And I'm just stopping kind of right here where my nose flares. You guys tell me if my nose is disappearing cause I do want it to disappear. Contour at the bottom. This is gonna make me look like I have a button nose. That's what I want. And then where your nose flares right here, you're gonna wanna do like a U. And then connect it. Do I look like I have a button nose? I'm just testing it. And then we're gonna grab a little bit of powder. Where are you now? 
we're just going to use our HD finishing powder. I should just play that song. Where are you now? Because I lose everything I have, including my brushes. They are always gone. So did my nose disappear? Do I have a button nose now? You know what I did yesterday? I grabbed some of Jeffree Star I'm Nude Liquid Lipstick and I applied some on my waterline because I couldn't find my nude pencil and I still can't find it so I'm going to do the same thing. You just got to blink a couple times. I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to use this color and I'm going to mix it a little bit with this one. We're going to smoke out our bottom waterline. Yo no soy lucido, mucho menos presumido, pero si me doy a respetar. The reason why you guys see a more voiceovers is because I like doing my makeup and playing some music, you know? It just makes me feel like a bad bitch. Like, yeah, I'm that bitch. And then I can be like singing and doing my makeup. But when I have to talk, it's like, it has to be quiet and I can't. Be me. And we're gonna go ahead and highlight. The highlighter is very pretty. I hate white packaging because everything gets so dirty, but it's still pretty packaging, but I just hate when everything's so white. I'm like embarrassed to show you guys that I've only had it for less than a week. This is the highlighter that we're gonna use, and we're just gonna apply some and take all the hair off. To put your contour on before the rest of your makeup or after the rest of your makeup because men are stupid. So long as you look like a newborn baby, they are willing to mate with you. I put a little bit too much on my chin area, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just gonna blend the shit out. And then for my naricita, I hope my nose looks semi okay. I'm still learning, I'm still learning a new technique. And we're gonna apply a little bit of highlight in our inner corner because I love to glow. Mm. So pretty. And I'm gonna contour the bottom of my lip to make them look more luscious and juicy, baby. I am gonna put a little bit of blush. I must warn well. you, the, the transition, transition from beginning to end, end might, might be startling. startling. First so that highlight, you guys, is beaming, glowing, gorgeous. I love it. We're going to go ahead and set our little face really quick before we move on to the lips because I know that's what you guys are here for, all the lips. Work. The first lip combo that I'm going to show you guys is the lip products that the collab came with, the Eva XO. I tried these two. This is in the shade Makeup Talk and in Honey. I do like the actual lip liner. It's very pretty. It's a very pretty nude. This one was not my favorite because I feel like it's a little too nude for my skin tone. Uh, but it's still very pretty. I just applied a little bit, but what I'm really going to do is go in with the lip pencil. Alright, so you guys can see here is the look. And now to try the Laura collab with Lime Glam. I'm actually gonna open it up right in front of you guys because I just received it. I'm very hyped about this one because I've seen swatches and I've seen other people use it and it looks so pretty. Like this is my girl. So it did come with three shades. It came with Love. 1992 and boutique look at my latinas here you guys such a proud moment to be honest with you guys and not only that but the fact that she took all her friends to her collab and made it about everyone is just she, it just tells you a lot she's such a sweetheart oh these are cute it has her name these are it and it has her name written on here and it has life glam here and it has the sticker shade at the bottom.
Honestly, you guys, I love them. They are a little bit, they have a little bit of an orange undertone, but I don't mind that at all. It's actually very cute. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell, like, subscribe, and comment down below for a chance to win $10. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.